In this short video, we'll be taking a look at how to add audio narration to a PowerPoint presentation. The video assumes that you have already completed your PowerPoint presentation, and indeed this is how I recommend you go about completing such an assignment. You will need to use PowerPoint 2016 or PowerPoint 2013 to follow the steps in this video. You can download PowerPoint 2016 from your account on the ICAST Learning Management System. Simply log in and click Install Office over on the right hand side, download the file, and then follow the on-screen instructions. Ideally you should use a headset in order to record the audio and have the headset attached to your computer before you open PowerPoint. So, in order to add audio to a particular slide, open up the slide you wish to add sound to, then click on the Insert tab as you can see on screen. Over on the far right of the Insert tab you'll see an area labelled Media. You'll also see within this area a button that says Audio. Click on this button and then from the menu underneath click on record audio. The record sound dialog box will open up on screen. It looks like the dialog box that you can currently see in the video. There's three buttons on the dialog box in order play, stop and record. To begin recording audio click on the third button, the red circle, which is the record button. You'll notice a timer after the phrase total sound length. Once you click on the record button, the timer starts increasing from zero and continues going up until you click the stop button. Once you've clicked on the stop button to finish recording, you can review what you've recorded by clicking the first button, the play button. If you're happy with what you've recorded, then you can click on the OK button and this will insert the audio onto the slide. You can tell that you've successfully added audio to the slide as PowerPoint provides a little visual cue in the form of this on-screen speaker icon. You can click on the speaker icon and then click on the play button underneath to review your audio again. Once you're happy with the audio you've recorded onto a slide, move over to the panel on the left and select the next slide that you wish to record audio to and then repeat the process again. You'll need to go through the same process for each slide that you want to add audio to. The process of adding audio to the slides is not continuous, that is, you have to add the audio to the slides individually. When you think about it, this makes sense. You don't want to be eight slides into your presentation and then mess something up in your delivery of the audio and then having to re-record the audio for all eight slides again. So it's handier this way, recording audio to each individual slide, because if you happen to make a mistake on one of the later slides, well then you don't have to redo all the work you previously did. When it comes to saving your file, just save it as a regular PowerPoint file. You don't need to save it as anything special like a video file or audio file or anything like that. Just save it as a regular PPTX file and upload it to the LMS like you would with any other assignment.